Hey wonderful people, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. And I would like to wish all the Muslims all over the world um, Eid Mubarak because uh, we are celebrating Eid here in Bangladesh. But it, the date basically it's like different for each country. Sometimes it's one day here, one day there. If it's today here, it was yesterday somewhere else or tomorrow somewhere else. So today I would like to do a review on uh, fragrance that is actually on loan from one of my brothers as usual who gave me the Porsche fragrances, uh, some of the previous fragrances and we have a his name is uh, Mr. Raihan Firdos Avik Avik Bhai you guys are already getting familiar with the name so he gave me some uh, rare fragrances that do not get so many reviews so I'm doing this review and these reviews are special for me because uh, these are not like typical other fragrances this particular fragrance that I'm about to review is a flanker of a very old school classic from House of Azaro I think people call it Asaro but I, I do not know exact pronunciation but I say uh, Azaro. So Azaro is one of my favorite houses. If you go Azaro space joy, I mean you'll see a lot of Azaro review on my channel. So this is Azaro Purum, the classic. I have a mid uh, sort of vintage formulation here. Not obviously the first formulation but these are very hard to find also. So this one I wore a lot and then I stopped wearing it because this is only good for me in cold weather. So I only use this in winter and since this vintage I do not use it a lot like sparingly. So this fragrance is the originator of everything. This is like 80s baby I think. So after that there is like at least I think uh, I wrote down, I counted, I think it had 16 flankers if I'm not mistaken, 16 or 15. And out of the 16 or 15 I owned or reviewed altogether 6, okay. And this is going to be my 7th Azaro Purom uh, sort of a flanker review. Fragrance, sorry, fragrance I'm going to be reviewing today is Azaro Purom Lou. As you can see from title, we have a 50 ml bottle. This is, comes in EDT. Uh, this fragrance doesn't have so many reviews, and I believe this is classified as a citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy kind of a fragrance. Okay, so it was a release of 2011, and uh, perfumer is not mentioned. I'm I'm looking down because my notes are there. I, I do not remember all the notes, and the fragrance I think basically comes in 50, 100, and perhaps 200 ml. I have seen them. For this fragrance, I saw them in those sizes, so I'm telling you. So, I don't know if this 30 or 50. Let me take a look. I think they should be like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say anywhere. I think this is a 30 or 50 ml. I think this is a 30 ml. Could be, I could be wrong. So, basically, maybe they're a smaller bottle. Yeah, right. The one I'm reviewing today is 50, and this should be smaller. This is 30 ml. Sorry, sorry. So, 30, 50, 100, and 200 ml. These are the bottle sizes. Uh, the fragrance uh, was launched in 2011, as I told you before, and uh, there I'm going to tell you the top notes, mid notes and bass, and I'll let you know what I think of this fragrance, how long it lasts, who is it for, uh, what does it remind me of, sort of, uh, if, if it's worth be looking at, because it's just uh, very hard to find rare fragrance, I'll let you know. Um, so this fragrance, first time I used it or tried it, I think it was Perfume World Bangladesh, but Perfume World Bangladesh, the fragrance are very, very expensive, like overseas because they are giving maximum retail pricing so I did not buy it it was like around $85 for a big bottle I think it's not worth that m price for 100 ml like this I think you should be looking to pay 45 to 50 45 dollars max you know that's the price range and uh, top notes on this are uh, as as far as fragrantica grapefruit amalfi lemon and yuzu full of citrus the meat you get like uh, lavender and geranium florals and basically fougere uh, base you get vetiver, musk, sandalwood and patchouli. Those are no notes break down. So I've been wearing this after shower. I've been wearing Aventus for the day of the Eid but I took a shower afterwards uh, and I am wearing this fragrance. So dry down is here and the dry down after one hour became kind of very close to skin. So performance, let's, let's talk about performance. No, let's show the bottle first. Sorry, what am I doing? Uh, I ate too much today, <laughs> sorry. So this is the box, sorry, silver and it's an Azaro Purum up there. It says A for Azaro, Lu, Azaro again. Okay, twice it's mentioned Azaro. The back, some more information. A silver box, nothing fancy. Okay, and they have a new line of this. I think three other fragrance, very colorful. And the bottle is same shape as Azaro bottles, and it's frosted glass, just like Isimia KCK1 uh, bottles like that. It's very frosted, cooling looking glass, and it feels very cold. It says A Azaro silver cap. It's plastic up there. It says Azaro. Okay, and the sprayer is standard sprayer, like that, <coughs> typical Azaro sprayer. And the bottom you're gonna find is sticker and all that. So I think the cap is kind of flimsy. So uh, build quality is not the best, but the sprayer, let me spray it on my uh, right hand. It's empty, let's show you the sprayer. 
Sprayers are not bad. I mean, they improved. The older sprayers were really horrible. They were like, pff, 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 you know, like those small bursts and boom, just explode right in the face. My favorite so far from this line, the one I really kept, Azarapuram. This is intense. This is this is something I rated very highly. I like it as much as I love pure malt. I like Bentley for many intense, and this is really nice. So. And I have a big bottle of it. It's really gorgeous, my God. This is as good as uh, Isimia Kenwar Ambre, I would say, uh, by the fireplace, those kind of fragrances. And uh, PDM uh, Layton, if you like those, you're going to really love this. This inexpensive gem. So now, how good is this one? So this one, I think, is good for summer and spring. It's very watery uh, kind of a fragrance, even though they do not mention any water, but a lot of citrus up top, as you could see. Yuzu, Amalfi lemon, and grapefruit. Very nice. Opening burst is very nice and my brother Avik Pai, he said he gets a lot of pepper, like he said morich, <laughs> in Bengali morich is mirchi in Hindi and that means like chili, like therm yugla pure chili. Uh, I can kind of see that, like uh, the yuzu has a very sharp kick, like uh, like the fragrance Lu de Sepurum, um, this is one of the fragrance this fragrance reminds me of and a couple of others. So if you know yuzu, yuzu has a very, very sharp kick to it, you know, like the citrus is very zingy, very sharp and it's very particular kind of like a citrus. Um, but it mixes with the grapefruit and it's kind of like when you are sick, you don't want to smell that because I'm having like uh, my system is kind of like uh, prone to coughing and everything. So it's really bothering my throat. Any fragrance I smelling is a little bit spice. It will make me cough. So. <coughs> Yeah, sorry about that. So it's not the fault of the fragrance. Once you're normal, it's not going to do that. But this fragrance has a very nice zingy opening. And I get that sort of like the watery aspect from it. That actually is pretty nice. I mean, if you're looking to wear something different, not typical CK1 summer flankers or Versace menu fresh, like typical lemony, but you want to wear something has a little bit of masculinity and a little bit maturity, this fragrance is going to fit that bill. So I would say this fragrance, I mean, he gave it decent wearing. Um, he likes it. So 50ml bottle would be actually plenty. Sorry, back at the bottle, back of the bottle, you find the uh, batch code here if you're wondering where it is. So this fragrance changes very, very fast. So the citruses disappear and then the lavender starts taking place. So the yuzu, sharp citrus, the watery feel of it, it's just like a, you know, very different sort of a direction that this fragrance goes to the original Azarapuram. This is very barbershop, very spicy, and very old school. It's very more, much more complex. This is much more simpler. But still, you still get that lavender sort of, people say it's like Reef Kosh. I think I see a few other barbershop fragrances. It has slight bit of similarity, but not as uh, aftershave, like foamy, okay? It's not as spicy, okay? Uh, like, it's not as spicy or like, heavy like those winters so i think this is a barber shop can be worn in summer and spring so the masculinity and maturity i was talking about still has on the dry down if you go to it it reminds me of these fragrances a little bit like tom ford gray vetiver but not that quality definitely but then porsche essence and sport flankers that i reviewed a few days back porsche fragrances and ludis Porum definitely as i mentioned and ck1 so it has that old school classic vibe with the florals geranium and the lavender combo comes to the heart at the base you get that vetiver musk sandalwood and patchouli i do not get all of that i get basically vetiver that's where this fragrance reminds me of tom for gray vetiver is the replacement replacement for gray vetiver or uh, rasa says woody wow woody uh, i wouldn't say so it's a similar uh, family but this is much more weaker than those both uh, the performance on this is very lackluster i mean opening burst is very strong even though it's watery it feels like kind of like gingery sort of grapefruit it's like a gin and tonic sort of a feeling but immediately like after one to two hours you'll feel like it's very uh, much gone pretty much <laughs> so even though Dior's Ul Savage people say it's weak or Armani Ul uh, Purom people say those citrus aromatics are weak but they give me sort of like three hours push four hours push this fragrance doesn't come back doesn't do the trick after two hours it's completely gone from my skin even if I use with uh, like after shower if I was use with uh, what you call uh, lotion or uh, jelly I don't know petroleum jelly whatever you know like if you use a uh, was the other one aloe vera it doesn't hold that much okay so another thing is you don't want to put a lot of this because it really chokes you the opening it's kind of like gets to your system and it will really like choke you do not put it here okay put it away from your this system go maybe on the chest and both arms or back of your neck so 
people can smell it up for one hour good projection after one hour people won't smell it that much so it's not as sharp as a simiake or a ck1 it's the strength is like ck1 all right so it's a very watery fragrance i would say good things watery fragrance if you like that a lot of citrus in this even though it's old school classic but it still has those beautiful citruses if you like citrus based fragrance and a little bit classy you can look at this one it's great wearing for office indoors uh, doctors after, on the dry down it's going to be really uh, subtle and the vetiver is going to be really kind of like uh, not so green uh, it's going to be like watery vetiver you know like transparent vetiver not the dirty kind or the dark kind like encre noir or some of your other vetiver based fragrances okay so how much do i like it where does it stand in my whole azaro like uh, lineup that once i reviewed i did review a lot of azaro the flankers this perhaps will be in my top 5 um but it's better than those the other few i had night time and there's some uh, red i forgot those names i sold them off but some of them were very synthetic i tell you this fragrance is much better than those it's polished but still has the synthetic vibe going so do not smell it up close for the first 10 minutes let it come to you once you apply it go out there no problem but do not expect all day's push from it but it's a nice underrated fragrance I, i'll tell you it's a very nice many people will like it um especially if you have uh, like your age range is like 30 plus this is a fragrance for 30 plus men to those people this is going to appeal uh, youngsters i don't think they're going to find it very appealing because it doesn't have that youthful vibe and lavender sort of pulls it back and takes it to the classy side barber shop side right uh so overall this fragrance very nice presentation i like the cooling feel they gave yellow juice sort of reminds me of a little bit like uh you know lemon grass you know but doesn't have smell like lemon grass but it it goes to that direction so try it it's uh for me if i'm going to buy this i think not um um the reason being for me i'm not going to be reaching for this because that sensation it gave me up there kind of choked me uh it's very very much overpowering in the opening so that really turned me off a little bit but i think many other people like it i would at least recommend for any fragrance for you to try it first okay um it has a little bit a dated smell to this fragrance also so keep that in mind so for longevity of this i'll give it 5 out of 10 longevity projection it's not the best but it's there after one hour still there the grapefruit you can smell the vetiver whatever remains you can smell and at this point the last uh, dry down or so uh, there's no spices no yuzu it's just citrus grapefruit and vetiver that remains so it stays true to its nature right and versatility i think it's good for spring and summer so i'll give it like 6 out of 10 um age for it 30 35 plus i think that will suit like old spice lovers brute lovers they're going to love this uh compliment um depends on the crowd you know if you are in a mature crowd who are your age 35 plus 40 they might appreciate that mature about it but if you go to a crowd where everybody is wearing dillon blue savage one millions people going to confuse you maybe they will think one of the kids parents just walked in and they'll be like hey 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 hide your beer <laughs> uncle is here <laughs> uh, but that's not to put it down i really like this fragrance but it just didn't work for me but uh, overall this fragrance i'll give it uh based on how much i like it i'll be honest i'll give it 6 out of 10 the reason being i'm not going to be wearing this uh fragrance just like they've in the originator uh i respect it but i do not reach for it so see the see that's that's my conclusion so tried out azara purum lu it it was an absolute pleasure to review this and thanks of you by once again for providing me with the bottle hopefully i could do justice to the uh, fragrance everybody take care have a nice day maybe later tonight i will do a review see you then bye bye